welcome to today's episode on the Asian Connection Mortgage Hey, Podcast. hey, 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 what's going on here? Oh, hi, Daddy. Hey, are you trying to take over my show? Uh, I don't know. Well, it's okay. Well, why don't we do the intro together? How's that sound? Okay, that sounds good. Welcome to today's episode on the Asian Connection Mortgage Podcast. Where we connect Asian Canadians together to talk about anything related to real estate, mortgages, and finances in Vancouver. My name is John Lee, mortgage broker with Arise Mortgage. We have a very special guest today, uh, my daughter, Nora Lee. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the show. I think lots of people are super excited to have you here because you're just so cute. And you're most likely going to be the youngest guest I'll ever have on the show. Uh, we have lots to talk about today. I think we're curious about what your thoughts are growing up in our family, your thoughts on business and money. But before we do that, icebreaker questions. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when you go to any bubble tea shop, what's your order? Brown sugar milk tea. Oh, yum. Way too sweet for me, though. But I know you'd really like it. You want pearls or do you not like pearls? Um, I prefer grass jelly. Yeah? And then Pokemon. You're a big Pokemon fan, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what's your favorite Pokemon? Alcream. And are you a Swifty? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> favorite Taylor Swift song? Um, I like Midnight Rain. And do you have a favorite TV show? I like watching the series of Unfortunate Events. Well, how about your hidden talent? Do you have a hidden talent? Um, hmm, let me think about it. Actually, I do. Um, I can make fart sounds with my legs. <laughs> that is definitely a very interesting hidden talent. Thank you. And who taught you that? Daddy. <laughs> <Love> you. <laughs> this or that questions. I have a series on that just so that we can learn even more about you. Ice cream or cake? Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, superheroes or princesses? Princesses. Reading a book or listening to music? Listening to music. Swimming or biking? Uh, biking. Math or science? That's a hard question. I don't even like any of them. <laughs> if uh, you had to choose one, which one would it be? I guess I'll choose science. Science? Okay. And playing sports or watching sports? Watching sports. Why is that? Uh, because I like watching UFC. Oh, UFC? Are you old enough to watch that? You let me watch it. <laughs> well, I let you watch it because I know you take MMA and you do kickboxing. So it's interesting for you to watch actual fights. But do you think sometimes it's too scary? Too bloody? Maybe There's too violent? There's blood, but it's all about the drama. The drama. Yeah, sometimes the, the interviews afterwards, maybe they're not using the best language. <laughs> <laughs> I got two would you rather questions. Would you rather have super strength, like a superhero, or be able to talk to animals? Um, super strength, superhero. What, you don't want to talk to like a little puppy? No. No? <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> and would you rather be able to fly like a bird or swim like a dolphin? Um, swim like a dolphin. Swim like a dolphin? I would have thought you wanted to fly like a bird. Because then you don't need to go on a plane. You can just go to Hong Kong, Mexico, uh, Toronto, anywhere in the world. And you, you don't have to like check in your luggage or you know, go take off and landing. I changed my mind. I think I want to fly like a bird. <laughs> you want to fly like a bird? That's what I thought. Um... Okay, so we're going to dive in into the questions. Uh, first, I just wanted to get a better understanding of what it's like to grow up in our family, our hashtag family. 
not Lee L Y, but L E E family. And being the only child, how is it? Um, what's your experience like that? Mm. Yeah, being in this family, it's fun. I get to play with mommy and you. It is sometimes boring because I don't get to play with anyone of mommy and you. Mm hmm. Yeah, but so when you are by yourself, what is it that you usually do to mm. just keep yourself entertained? Most of the time, I'll just watch TV, but like um, sometimes I will like to try different crafts mm -hmm. or just like um, make cards. And... and can you share a favorite family memory? Um, I don't really know. There is like a lot, but I think one of my favorites is just like going on vacation. In like Hong Kong. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're actually going later this year. What are you looking most forward to? Mostly just to see Mama Ye and Mama Nana. And Mama. Yeah, they're our family. And then also, we have lots of extended family as well in Hong Kong. Um, on top of that, you're forced to speak Cantonese. And I find that whenever you come back from Hong Kong, your Cantonese is like. Up the level. <laughs> uh, well, what's uh, your favorite thing about our family's routine? Do you have any favorites that we do on a, like a daily basis? Mm, probably, like maybe after dinner, we um, me and you go um, eating, and we either have dessert, bubble tea. Dots and we get to watch a hockey game at the future, or just like different. Yeah, but anything you do with mommy that you really like? Um, I think getting up early, to snuggle, um, and watch reels with mommy. Do you have? A favorite reel that you really like? There's a lot of funny ones, but um, out of all of them, I like um watching Whose Line Is It Anyway. Yeah, I like that too. It's the uh, improv, and they just come up with the funniest things. It's ridiculous, and I really love it when you just like laugh out loud when you're watching these reels. <laughs> <laughs> so lessons about business. So oh, you have grown up with me and mommy, run our own business. First off, do you even know what I do for a living? Well, all the things, yeah. Yeah? What do I do? Um, you're a manager. Okay, and how do I help people? Um, you help people find houses or look into their bank accounts to see if they have enough money to buy you a big house. Mm-hmm. And what do you think is important to know about buying a house? Um, I've heard you and mommy like say some of these things, or like a realtor will mention will mention it when we were looking for a house. Probably like if you like to like quiet places, maybe buy a house in a cul-de-sac, or um. Don't get a house in front of a road that has yellow painted road lines because the government probably put them there um, because they knew that that road is really busy, so it should be really loud. And another thing, most of all, I think most of you guys already know this, but don't get a house with quality beauty. Oh, yes. How did you know that? It's because when we were looking at homes like around two years ago, and you were around seven years old at that time. Uh, we were looking at some houses that were in the 90s. And uh, we determined that Poly B is something to avoid. And you, being a seven-year-old, I remember going to a house and we we're looking at the furnace. Because oh, we yeah, wanted to check. One. Yeah. And 
the listing agent opened the door, and what was the first thing that you said? Um. Well, this is Cantonese. Um, hi, Polly B. Which means I'm going to translate it. Um, I said, "Is it Polly B?" Yeah, and it is. I know you were asking, but you once you saw it, you knew it was because it was the color gray, and we were just really hoping that it was more. It was copper or it was plastic, but yeah, we just saw the gray. It's like, oh, Polly B. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's uh, interesting that uh, you mentioned it. It's really funny. We all laughed, and I don't know how the listing agent felt because he probably knows that's something that that's something that doesn't really show well. But for a seven year old to be like, oh, it's Paul B. He's probably like, what? How does this kid know? <laughs> when you were also younger. I remember you saying that, oh, mommy, daddy, you two have businesses. I want a business as well. So what did we end up doing? Um, I opened up my own business called Little Norris Bakery, and I baked um, cookies, and we got to sell them to some of daddy's friends and some of mommy's friends or just close people that we know, and we donated it to BC Community Hospital. Yeah. Do you remember the process when we were starting the business? And what was the first thing that we started doing? Um, we made sales calls to some of Daddy's friends. Ah, I remember us doing that. I think we blocked off maybe like 30 minutes. And we just went on WhatsApp and you recorded your voice. And you just had this really cute little voice. And many of them, they don't even know how much it is. And they're just like, I'm going to order. <laughs> it's like, they can't just say no to like a cute little girl, right? So that, that I found was really fun. And you also spent a lot of time with mommy as well doing the baking. Uh, and then we delivered them. Ah, you remember like when you delivered, we made sure you wore something. That what what remember what it said on your shirt? It was a sweater that had like rainbow stripes on the sleeves, and it in the middle. Once you zip it up, it says "Girl Boss." Yeah, I love that. And you were taking photos of everyone who bought the two cookies. And you had like your little small little thumbs up. <laughs> um, did you um? Is there anything that you did to help? Daddy or mommy with our businesses? Like the daycare. Oh yeah. Um sometimes I help mommy with um the daycare and then like you know I watch over the kids and everything. And sometimes I just help you figure out stuff and like what to do when the best for me. So um just like no, I get it. There are times where I have issues with uh, clients or situations that I have to resolve. And you actually give me a lot of good tips to handle them. So I really appreciate it. You have a lot of wisdom, even though you're turning 10 this year, you're very mature for your age. So what advice would you give to other kids if they're going to start their own business or they want to run their business? Um, let me think. Oh, yeah. Um, so this has happened to me and I am a little bit disappointed. Um, I think um, if you make money doing a business, like probably don't spend it too soon because what if you want to buy a toy? Um, you want but afterwards you don't want it anymore like you only play you only play with it for like three or four days and um then all of the hard work that you did for the money to buy that toy just all just goes in into the dump because you don't want the toy anymore and then just the money that you made to buy the toy is now all gone yeah that happens even for adults sometimes 
we see this nice shiny thing and it's expensive and you buy it right away and then after like a few days or a few weeks it the excitement just kind of disappears but then you spent the money already so that's very good advice so do you want to continue making cookies when you grow up or do you have other plans in mind um probably not i think I want to be a flight attendant because I always wanted to be a flight attendant ever since I was three. And yeah, I just get to go on the plane and then I get to travel to different places and only stay there for like maybe two hours and then that's it. Um, but yeah, I really want to be a flight attendant. Ah, no, that, that's a really sweet job to be able to travel and work at the same time um you're going to give me like good discounted tickets right if you do become a flight attendant and we can travel together i'll try to do <laughs> what i can do <laughs> you're like don't travel with me i just want to travel on my own <laughs> um last question i have is more about money and i want to know what kind of lessons you've learned from mom and daddy and mm -hmm. why it's important to save money? I think it's important to save money so in the future you can get something or have more money so you can um, help you with your house like you said before or just you have more money in your bank account. You can kind of do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just hard to explain it but <laughs> hopefully you can see where I'm getting at. <laughs> Well, that's all the questions I have. Thank you so much, Nora, for being on the show. Did you enjoy? Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah? How do you feel now? Do you feel relieved? A little bit because I've been really excited to do this with you. And now I know that it's all done. I guess it feels a little bit different. Yeah? Well, I'm so excited that um, you're on the show and would you want to do this again? Probably. Yeah, okay. Well, whenever you feel like it, I would love to have you on the show again to interview you and also see if some of the things that you answered today, if anything has changed in the future, then um, we will be interested in learning that as well. But Nora, I love you so much. I'm so happy and proud to be your dad. And you are, again, just so mature for age, so much wisdom. And I know that everyone who do know you, they would say the same thing. So how about I pass it off to you to end off the show? Uh, okay. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed our chat together today. Remember... If you want a mortgage, contact my daddy. He'll answer all your mortgage questions. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast and leave us a review if you enjoyed the episode. And me, the cute little girl. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, stay informed and make smart financial choices. I'm Nora Lee. And I'm John Lee. And this, and this has, has been, been the Asian, Asian Connection, Connection Mortgage Podcast. Podcast. Have, Have a great, great day! day. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs>